Truth Still Matters, episode number 13. Come one, come all. Welcome to the Catholic Podcast. Truth Still Matters. The human person is made for truth, despite this dictatorship of relativism we breathe every day. This podcast exists in the stream of the new evangelization, championed by Pope John Paul the Great, and continue with Pope Emeritus Benedict the Sixteenth and Pope Francis. We will have the opportunity to learn and reflect on the timeless truths revealed by God and deposited in the Catholic Church. If you're looking for apologetics or theology that can be applied to your life right now, you've found a new home. Stop drowning in the world of opinion and embrace yourselves for truth still matters. We are back, you and I, once again, for another episode of Truth Still Matters. I really pray that you're having a blessed Advent. This is a season where we are preparing for the coming of Christ. And there are three comings. The first, we remember the one that happened 2,000 years ago in an obscure cave, Mary. Joseph, the shepherds, the Magi. We also look forward to the second coming where Christ himself will come back, as the creed says, to judge the living and the dead. We also look forward to Jesus' daily coming as Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI informs us that Jesus comes daily in the Eucharist. Are we ready for his arrival? Or are we sleeping? Are we watchful? Or are we comatose? You tell me. You pray for me and I'll pray for you that we might live according to God's call and purpose. If this is the first time that you're checking out a Truth Still Matters episode, this is the place where the Catholic faith in its fullness is being taught. I'm not trying to make up teaching here. I'm not trying to be original. I'm trying to echo, which is the meaning of the word catechesis, echo Christ's teachings. And his teachings have been faithfully passed down in his church that goes back 2,000 years, and that is the Catholic Church. If I say anything that goes against the magisterium, I stand corrected now. I really believe that Jesus speaks to us today through the written word of God, that tradition that has been handed down and protected by the Holy Spirit in his church, Mother Church. She feeds us. She nurtures us. There's a website, www.hubertsanders.com. You can also get to it with www.truthstillmatters.net. I love the title Truth Still Matters because in a world of opinion, and you know, we are drowning in a world of opinion. Well, that's your truth. Don't, you know, that, 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 that's my truth. Who am I to impose my beliefs on you? And no one knows anything. No, no. As human persons, we are made to know, to live, to breathe the truth. And it's not my truth. And it's not your truth. It's the truth. Jesus says himself that I am the way, the truth, and the life. We either receive him or reject him. So let's live according to his blessing. This episode will focus on the new logo. 
Remember the old one? Now here's the new one. I just simply want to explain the logo and give you a background on it. Are you ready? Hold on. I want to give all credit for the new Truth Still Matters logo to the graphics art uh, firm Amalgamatic Pixels out of Atlanta, Georgia. The CEO and founder of that company is a man by the name of Christopher Hayes. I went to school with Chris at Xavier University of Louisiana, and he was a great friend in undergrad and continues to be a great friend now. This guy's a killer artist, and um, I highly recommend Amalgamated Pixels. If you have any kind of artwork you want done, graphics design, web design, you got to check out Christopher Hayes at Amalgamated Pixels. I simply told him that I wanted a logo that was that would pop, that um, would capture what I was after, and that was pointing to Christ and the fullness of his truth given in the Catholic Church. And Chris got back with me with four or five different logos and all of them phenomenal, phenomenal. And I decided on this one that you see now in the background. And the reason why I chose this one is because it spoke to my heart. It, it really did. It reminded me of a teacher, my favorite teacher, Dr. Damien Federica. He's actually a philosopher, not just a teacher, but a philosopher. And he had a, a unique way of teaching. Uh, he would always uh, encourage us to look at the reality. Don't just repeat words. Don't just get stuck on the pointer, the words or the teacher, but look at what the teacher is pointing towards. He would always say that we have this direct access to reality, this intuition, but oftentimes we find it difficult to talk about it. You know, we have to peel away uh, the, the various ways that we've been educated today so that we can be faithful to common sense, intuition, that direct access that we have to reality. Education is supposed to educate us on how to talk about in other words, discursive reasoning, how to talk about what we have direct access towards. And that way of teaching has, has stuck with me today. And the logo spoke to me. Chris told me that when he was designing the logo, he thought about um, obstacles or life falling away from a truth led vision. And I said, truth led vision, that's right. And with that big eye in the middle, that spoke to me of that intuition, that direct access that every human being has to the truth. But oftentimes we find it difficult to talk about it. We live in a world where we're drowning in opinion and that's the language that we use, you know, my truth, your truth. But no, as human persons, we have to learn how to talk about a, a claim to the truth and being able to defend what we believe and not just simply hide behind an opinion because that's what labeling an opinion does. We simply hide behind it. And when we hide behind it, you know what? You can't challenge me, right? Because it's my opinion and I don't have to know why I believe it. I can just label it my opinion. But no, Jesus says he's the way, the truth and the life. And this logo speaks that. See the, the burgundy uh, petals kind of falling away from the eye. From this truth led vision that we all have access to. But it's up to you. So open up your eyes to see. No one can see it for you. No one can see it for me. We have to look for ourselves. And so every time you see the Truth Still Matters logo, you know that truth still matters and we all see it. Do we get excited enough to pass on that vision to someone else? May God bless and keep you all the days of your life. Amen. We are the bearers of the truth, protecting it. So not a single heretic can step to this. O R T H O D O X it is. Hold down the whole truth with excellence. We are the bearers of the truth, protecting it. So not a single heretic can step to this. O R T H O D O X it is. Hold down the whole truth with excellence. Check on the rock, on all the dark chairs like that. Heeding the words of the Holy Father, playing the back. Man, it was dropping because he's taking the facts to find the word of God. Listen, backtrack. Read the first verse, flash back to the beginning. We follow the scripture written when the first verse was the God.
respect in it. So not a single heaven it can step to this. O R T H O D O X it is. Hold down the whole truth with excellence. We are the bearers of the truth protecting it. So not a single heaven it can step to this. O R T H O D O X it is. Hold down the whole truth with excellence. All roads lead the wrong place. Have an earthly head, heavily taught and fed, heavily led. Neil brings us all the teachings of Christ. We conform to all the Catholic doctrines. Ignore your ears and all the false concepts. So we listen to the rock and every word that he says. Who are we to teach a teacher precept? We are the head. The with the opposite is charismatic. We stand firm in the faith. We just won't have a history. Chose the one God chose to play his role with the power of the keys. Of the 